We begin today with Penny misquoting some Jewish doctrine. Everybody has two inclinations, good and evil. Penny is running through this boot camp and she's blue now. This Steve Wilco sergeant is screaming at her. Penny is going through grueling physical exertion so she narrates to forget the pain. She literally hits the, I guess you wonder how I got here. It was open trials for reporter positions for the school newspaper. Penny figured she was a shoe in cause she's just so much better than everybody else. The teacher passes out everyone's papers and it turns Turns out she got rejected. She doesn't even know what that word means, so I can see why her writing sucks. Luckily, La Cienega must have a photographic memory because she gives 15 synonyms to help bring clarity to her. Penny goes up and asks the teacher what's wrong with her paper, and Mr. Moody tells her that it was boring as paint watching you dry. She begs him and taunts him about his crash landing from the New York Times to this middle school. He has a breakdown and he lets her get a second chance. Penny writes multiple boring ass papers on her family and gives it's rejected every time. Penny decides it's time to exploit the gross sister's criminal endeavors for editorial fame. She has to go undercover. She tries everything possible to get detention, but the only thing that works is showing up late to class. Penny must go to the underfunded portion of school. She arrives at detention and there's a dead kid from the 80s sitting in a desk. What the hell kind of school is this? Penny realizes that she has to establish dominance day one, so she does the Disney equivalent of walking up to the biggest dude in the room and punching him in the face. Penny regulates the cell and becomes a pod boss in record time. Her and the Gross sisters go to rob the elementary school kids. Back at the Proud House, Trudy gets the mail and it says Penny has been to detention six times in the last two weeks. Penny walks in and immediately assumes stop and frisk position. She thinks for a second, then lies without hesitation. It's another Penny Proud, since that's such a common name. Her parents are dumb as hell and they fall for that. Penny starts narrating again and reminisces on her time committing strong arm robberies. She even robbed her friends. Her new name is P. P. Gimme, and P. Gimme don't need no friends. She was so good, P. Gimme robbed herself. Overnight, P. Gimme's proximity to blue skinned people has sublimated herself cyan. Periwinkle Gimme goes downstairs and disrespects her entire family, and Sugar Mama is ready to put hands on her. When her parents go upstairs to check on her, they find that Penny has snuck out the window into the night. The next morning, Penny comes home to her family waiting on her. They're sending her disobedient ass to boot camp. She attempts a tactical escape, but Sergeant Snelly is at the door and stops her and he yells at her so long it becomes night again. Penny can do nothing but narrate. Penny likes life on the inside. Three hot Santa Cot. Plus, she could run a black market of all the goods in the jail, I mean, boot camp. Just like New Jack City, it was all good until someone snitched to Sergeant Snelly. She bets that you can't say that sentence three times and I'm here for the challenge. Someone snitched to Sergeant Snelly. Someone snitched to Sergeant Snelly. Someone snitched to Sergeant Snelly. Proud family writers, when you see this, make sure you send that bread to my merch shop. Penny gets a bunch of very questionable punishment, so she decides it's time to skedaddle from the stink hole. She distracts the sniper with shadow puppets. Then she makes the smoothest escape from jail since life. P. Gimme's first visit after she got out was the Gross Sisters. P is too damn hot and wants to go jacking fresh out. Nubia doesn't associate with real criminals and calls her Penny Tentry before slamming the door on her. I really wish I would've thought of that nickname. She goes to everyone's house and everyone slams the door on her thieving ass. Her last hope is family. Penny sees an unlocked window and her instincts start kicking in so she sneaks up like it's B&E time. She watches Oscar put a spoon into Puff's bowl and is so disappointed by her dad's disgusting nature that she sinks into depression. Once the family goes to sleep, Penny starts hitting those open windows like Braves from Blame It on the Street. She almost gets caught because BB and CC thinks that she's gonna rob them. This close call with getting caught makes Penny decide that this life of crime ain't a life of mine. This doesn't stop Sergeant Snelly from abusing his authority on her a few more times. Penny turns in her paper to Mr. Moody and finally becomes a reporter on the school newspaper. She goes outside and sees some kids skateboarding and decides to learn how to make twists. That's canon.